Hi everyone, so time for the next video. Um, this is actually the fourth video in um, the 40 Manager series. So if you've not already checked out the previous three videos, then I will display the playlist in the top right hand corner. Uh, and all the videos have been ordered um, in there. I do highly recommend that you watch the videos in a specific order because I'm trying to build um, things up slowly but surely. Uh, so first video covered deploying 40 Manager Cloud. Um, second video add, um, included adding the first 40 gates into 40 Manager Cloud. Um, the third video looked at policy packages, um, how to add them, um, that kind of thing. Uh, this fourth video is going to continue on with policy packages a little bit more. Um, we've added in another um, appliance. So we've now got two gates that the 40 manager is looking after and we are going to create a centralized policy package and apply it to both devices and demonstrate that there's also um, some uh, different deployment methods in terms of uh, being able to attach the new provision device to 40 Manager um, on deployment. Um, before we crack on with the video, um, I just want to say, um, we are around um, 80 subscribers away from hitting a thousand. It's a big goal of mine to reach that number via the 1st of January, 2024. So if you've not already subscribed, then please consider doing that for me. As always, hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any specific feedback or there's any specific topics that you would like me to cover in future videos. Now on to the video. So in one of the uh, first videos, I said that I would try and demonstrate different methods of um, onboarding the gate into 40 Manager. So um, this is the uh, Microsoft Azure deployment for the second hub. Um, as part of the configuration, there is a section where you can define the 40 Manager. So do you want to connect to 40 Manager? Yes, put the IP address for the 40 Manager in there and the serial number. Um, and then hopefully that should work on connecting. So let's see. Okay, so something that um, I'd like to cover, um, instead of going down, as the, uh, down the pay as you grow, um, subscription-based model where you're basically consuming um, the the license from um, Microsoft Azure directly. Um, it can get quite pricey, so it's about 30p an hour um, at the minute, so it does add up. I've actually got a stack of license, uh, licenses that I can use, so I'm going to actually upload my own license for the, the next deployments. So I've already got the license file. You can see that I've attached it here to the uh, graphical interface. Click OK. It will reboot. So the unit's back online now. Let's try and log in. Okay, so it says that the license has been validated now. Should be able to log back in. Just skip that. So we're in. <clears throat> so this is the second device deployed on um, uh, with a bring your own license. Um, I did try to automatically connect up 40 Manager as well. So let's see if that has worked. So you see it's got the uh, 40 Manager IP address in there. Okay, so after a little bit of work, log into the 40 Manager, you can see that the um, there's an unauthorized device UK West Hub FGT. Um, so that is in there and we will get that authorized. So what I'm going to actually do is apply these, I've now renamed it special policy package. Um, so it's just got the um, free uh, firewall policies on it. So one little trick is when I'm, you actually onboarding this, this new device, 
So right click authorize. Um, that the name is fine, but I'm going to assign it the special policy package. Not going to give it a, a template, any template, um, provisioning template or dashboard template. Just going to simply apply that. There we are. It's in anyway. So now the two devices are in. Um, don't worry about this device being down. I simply shut it down in Azure to save on compute costs. Um, but I'll bring that back up in a minute. Okay, so we'll just log in, make sure that that, uh, that policy package is applied. Yeah, there we are. So there we go, that's applied. So that just demonstrates applying policy packages on initial provisioning. Okay, so in Forty Manager, if you look, we've got a nice, healthy two device set up now. Uh, a hub in UK South and a hub in UK West, both in Azure. So, um, and they've both got the special policy package applied. So if I log out and log back into both devices, just quickly demonstrate that. There should be three firewall policies here. Yeah, one, two, three. And we log out and log back into this one. There is three policies firewall policies applied. Um, that's being pushed via the policy package known as special policy package. Um, and that's in a nutshell what you would do in the real world, really, certainly in a, a greenfield deployment, um, you would have one policy package that's applied to many devices. So then you inside that policy package, you would have your, your default firewall policies that kind of thing that conform to the same standard. So then in the event of you needing to add a new fire, uh, a new firewall policy, you would go into the policy package, create new, um, which is put, um, this is the newest policy. Okay. Uh, new, newest policy. So that's going to be policy number four. Um, so then what you would do is you would go to the install wizard, policy package, special policy package. You would apply it to both appliances. I'll just prep these by logging out of both of them. Wait for the manager to install. Okay, so that's installed on both of them. So let's log in to both of them. There should be four firewall policies here. There you go. You can see that on UK South Hub, this is the new policy is installed. And on UK West Hub, there should also be four firewall policies with this is the newest policy installed. So there you go, demonstrating the purpose of policy packages. Um, imagine, imagine having the ability to do this when you've got thousands of forty gates um, deployed all the way across Europe. It makes things very, very nice and easy for you. One of the questions that's been asked is, what happens if you've got a policy package applied to a device? <clears throat> so in this case. Uh, if we look at UK West Hub, you can see that the special policy package has been applied, but then you actually want to apply another policy package to that same device. So if you look at a uh, special policy package, you can see that it's been installed on both. But if I go to default and then go to installation targets, what I've now done is I'm now going to try and, in, and, and apply this policy package, this default one, to UK West Hub as well. So if I go to there and I go to the default policy package, UK West Hub. It will give you an error to say a different policy package was previously installed on this device. If you do do a diff, 
So just a reminder, the default policy package has no firewall policies at all. It will attempt to delete all of the uh, existing components of the existing policy package. So be very, very careful with this. Um, I won't do it, but I think we get the point. One policy package per one FortiGate appliance. And that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video shit series is designed to be quite rapid, so we should be pushing out videos every 24 hours or so. Make sure that you're watching the videos in order. I'll pop the playlist in the top right-hand corner now.